angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Why? Cross Ghost Town. Yeah, right. Cross Ghost Town, my ass. And there's batteries here as well. I can only assume the light bulb company are keeping me an informant or equipped. Barry the light bulb guy. Oh, Mr. Light Bulb Head. There's nothing here. Let's just get across this already. Hmm. I really don't like this. Oh, sh shit. Anyone else wants a piece of me? I shouldn't have said that. Fucking hell. Oh, at least I got the tractor stuck in there. There. I hate you, darkness, whatever you, whatever you are. You're not a friendly kind of darkness, you're just like, we don't like you, Alan Wake. Okay. <sighs> Come on. Oh no! No! Shit. Where did the other pot go? I think the other part fell off the um the mountain there. Shit. Yes, I was stuck there. Oh God damn it. I hate this. Wait a minute, did I see something there? Alan, you're such a shit runner. Okay, a key. What was that? Safe haven. Well, that's good to know. There's light everywhere! Oh yeah, I could've used a flare gun. What the fuck? Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. I have a theory now. 
maybe those seven days Alan was preparing. Maybe Alan set up those um, supply boxes. Maybe even the flashbangs. Think of it. Would it not make a bit more sense? Maybe the out the out the Alan from seven days ago knew everything. Maybe he found out, and it, maybe that was him seven days ago. And that's stuck in that um. Well, <sighs> now nah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he did know about the whole thing. Oh, he learned about it quickly before he lost his memory. Ah, oh, God. I don't think the electric company is going to leave lights out for Alan, you know, <laughs> and flashbangs. I don't know how Alan would have, you know, scrounged all that up, but maybe he did. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. <laughs> it's full of spelling errors and insults. Well, that's pretty much like YouTube. Most, that's like 90% um, of the YouTube popularity, or public. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> Maybe he is a YouTuber. Okay, I've got seven flare guns. Seven flares. Nice. I better use these more often as well. God's sake, you really do need a sausage roll, don't you? Birds. Okay, let's just keep moving. Remind me to never crawl on those. Burn, birds! Hey, hey! Don't you fuck up, Alan! Yes! Woo! Ah! Is that light? It seems to be a bit lighter in here. Okay, nothing there. Something there, I believe. It's a bit cloudy as well. Full of deer breeze. What's that you say? Oh my god! There's anything down here. Except the silver. <gasps> Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. What? The fuck? I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Not in the water. Ah. The hunters were big, thick set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Ah, oh, Jesus. Hunters. 
<laughs> oh, Alan, Alan, Alan. I'm losing it. I gotta get out you of You can't swim. I cannot believe this. Alan can't swim, even though we saw him die for his one.